Hey everyone, can you guess uh, what's inside of this package? You probably already know because you clicked on the uh, thumbnail which shows what's inside. <laughs> uh, so the su surprise has been ruined. But um, this is the DualSocket X79 motherboard that I ordered from AliExpress. This was ordered back on January 16th of this year and it took about 16 days for me to receive it so it didn't really take too long at all. And it cost I think about $85 plus tax, at least for me, it, it, I did have to pay taxes on it, which was a, a few dollars, like four bucks. Um, it did include free shipping, so I was uh, really thankful for that. And uh, yeah, let's go and take a look and see what's inside of this thing. Um, packaging wise, it's uh, pretty simple, basic, what you would expect from um, overseas from AliExpress. Uh, I would say that, I mean, I was kind of like, I guess, shocked at first when I saw the size of the package because I'm thinking that this is just the right size of the box for a motherboard. So I was just hoping that they put enough layers of bubble wrap to protect the actual box itself. But it appears that they did a pretty, pretty good job because I mean, there's quite a few layers of bubble wrap. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, store it away so that way in case I do gotta ship anything out, I don't have to spend money on packing materials. Um, so I'm gonna reuse it, which thumbs up. Um, yeah, quite a few layers. As for the motherboard box itself, pretty simple. Uh, looks like it's in really good condition. Um, but again, it's just a basic box, uh, brown cardboard, only black ink for the writing, which it just says X79, X79 on one side of it. There's some other writing on the other side or on the edges. And then on the other side, it also says X79 with some, uh, writing, which I cannot read, which I could, but I cannot. If there's anyone out there that knows how to read uh, this uh, type of writing and knows what it says, let me know in the description. I'm, I'm really interested to know what it actually says besides just X79. But yeah, no uh, color printing, no glossy print. There's no uh, stickers with barcodes for th with serial numbers, nothing like that. It doesn't even describe the model of the motherboard, which again, it's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside of this thing. So the first thing that stood so the first thing that stood out, which I'm really grateful for, is that it does come with the actual brackets for your CPU coolers. In the description on AliExpress, it didn't really mention this, so I wasn't sure. I ordered two from eBay, which haven't arrived yet, so I'm glad that these came with this motherboard. We also have our basic I.O. plate for the back, nothing fancy, just plain silver. It would be cool if you can just spray paint this black and you know, customize the look. Besides that, we have a SATA cable, just one of them, not a huge deal, and also the actual screws that will allow you to mount the bracket to the motherboard. As for the motherboard itself, um, it does come in the anti-static bag. It does have the foam backing underneath the motherboard, so that way it does protect the soldering from the other side of the motherboard, which is perfect. Uh, this is pretty much what you would expect if you were to buy a motherboard from any name brand manufacturer out there. Um, same type of packing material, packaging, that kind of stuff, so thumbs up. As for the Motherboard itself, here it is, uh, dual socket 2011. Um, it can use Xeon processors. I did order two E5 2690s, which I will be using with this build. Um, it does have just four RAM slots, uh, dual channel, uh, supports 18 up to 1866 in terms of speed. I bought uh, 64 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 1600 megahertz. Uh, ECC register memory, uh, 16 gigs per stick. So that's what I will be using for this build. Um, it does have two 16 times PCI Express slots and uh, two One X slots. Also one NVMe slot for your hard drive. That should be coming in pretty soon. It does have four SATA ports. Two of them are six gigabits per second and four are three gigabits per second. If you're using a mechanical hard drive, you won't really notice a difference, but if you are using an SSD, you will notice the speed difference if you're using the, uh, the three gigabits per second slots or the ports on this motherboard. As for power, we do have uh, the 24 pin connector from the power supply. We do have two eight pin connectors for the CPUs. Gotta make sure that your power supply can support that. For the back, we have six USB 2.0s, three, uh, two USB two, uh, two USB 3.0s, and we have two PS2 ports, uh, gigabit ethernet, and the standard audio uh, output or audio connectors for output input. Uh, besides that, we do have on the bottom right our uh, front panel headers. We do have the USB 3.0. We do have three USB 2.0s. We have the uh, basic um, headers for your power switch, reset, LED, activity lights, that kind of stuff. 
Uh, the one thing that really stood out with this motherboard was that on the pictures on the uh, AliExpress listing was that it does have the USB 3.0 uh, front header on the bottom right and it was clearly visible. There are other motherboards that look almost identical to this one sold by a lot of sellers out there that for some reason, I mean they look almost identical but the USB 3.0 uh, header was located on the bottom left area of the motherboard and it looked a little bit strange. Um, it's not used to what I'm saying, but I, I didn't really want to trust those. And this is the only one that I saw from this one seller that had this these pictures that actually clearly showed it being on the bottom right. So I went with this one. Um, besides that, what else can I say? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, the, the colors are awesome. It's my, my they're, they're my favorite colors: black, orange, grays, whites. Uh, of course, there's some of that brown PCB, but I mean, overall, it, it's beautiful. I mean, I, I like the look of this motherboard. So I can't wait to try it out. Um, when it comes to fan headers, we do have two uh, four-pin headers for your two CPU coolers for each. Uh, you know, one for each processor, and there's only one case fan header on the bottom right of the motherboard. So with that, I will be using a, a fan hub when I put this whole thing together so I can connect more fans into this system. Uh, besides that, uh, I think, I don't know, I'm trying to, oh, uh, the battery. Uh, there's no coin battery that's included with this motherboard. Um, I guess it's with, you know, for tariff reasons or something, uh, they cannot include a battery. So you could just buy one of those from like the grocery store or the drugstore. They're, they're only a couple of dollars. Uh, besides that, oh, um, I guess, I mean, I think we're pretty much done with the unboxing. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, the size of this motherboard, uh, I was surprised. It is pretty small. It almost reminded me of a micro ATX board. And, uh, you know, it's my first time using one of these types of dual socket motherboards in my life. So I thought it was going to be a lot larger. Um, but no, it's pretty small. So what I did is I kind of put it side by side with the MSI Z87M micro ATX gaming motherboard that I've been using for like a lot of years uh, for making benchmarks and things like that on like Haswell chips and, and stuff like that. I put them side by side to see you know the size comparison between the two. This board is just slightly larger than that micro ATX board. Uh, it's about an inch taller towards the bottom and of course it does extend out longer because of the uh, dual sockets but for the most part it is pretty compact. Um, I was thinking about putting this into maybe like a micro ATX case, which would be pretty sweet because that way you can have like this nice little powerful system in a compact, um, you know, type enclosure. But I don't think it'll work because I did try, I did do a quick test on the uh, Dark Flash DLM22 micro ATX case. Um, I mean, it, it fits into the case, but it doesn't line up with the actual standoff screws inside the case and it's off by that extra inch. So like the pack, uh, the back ports don't really line up to like the opening of the case. And overall, it didn't work out. But you know, you never know. There might be a case out there where this motherboard would fit into a micro ATX uh, case. This system, this motherboard, yeah. Um, but in the meantime, I will be putting this into the deep cool uh, case that I used last year on Weapon X58. So that's what I will be using. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I do want to thank you for watching. Um, thanks for feedback, for likes and dislikes on my videos. And if you subscribe, I really appreciate that. And stay tuned. Uh, the next one should be coming out. Hopefully, you know, not too far into the future. I mean, not not too long from now. But I'm I'm working on it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.